My demon haunts my every step. When I was little, he would whisper evil things in my ear. Set the house on fire. Take the kitchen knife and stab your mother in the back. Put rat poison in the dog food. Most of the time, I managed to resist. But sometimes, I just couldn't stand it. And I did what he wanted me to do. You have to understand that I had to stop the whispering. The constant malevolent presence that dragged me down like a lead weight in my soul. So I stabbed my classmate with a pencil. I slashed my teacher's tires. I set the chemistry lab on fire. My parents took me to special doctors. They whipped me with a belt, screamed at me, and slapped me in the face. The demon would sit in the corner as they beat me, smiling with content at the pain that he had caused me. As I got older, the problem got worse. The demon became more real. Instead of an evil whisper in my ear, he was clawed hands digging into my flesh with his hot, sulfur-scented breath. The laden weight in my soul got so heavy that every step I took felt like a thousand pounds. Then one night... The thing that I feared most happened. Look at that girl alone. Nobody else is around. Just take her and throw her in the car. I'll tell you what to do next. I wanted to keep on driving. But as soon as I passed the girl, my body was gripped in a burning iron cage of pain. I didn't have a choice. I had to turn around. Once I got out of my car, the demon took control. He raked his claws down my back until I bled through my shirt. He shoved me to the asphalt and grabbed the girl, clamping his hand over her mouth as she began to scream. He held her nose shut as she squirmed until her body went completely limp. He tossed her in the car and drove us to my house. When we got to my house, the demon entered my body completely. I could feel his writhing, burning sinew violate my insides as he made me go to work. He made me tie the girl to the water heater. He made me duct tape her mouth. He made me pull her pants down and shove a kitchen knife inside her, over and over again, as she twisted her hips away from me, pulling at her handcuffs until her wrists were spraying blood. Finally, she died, and the demon made me chop her up. He made me cut off her butt and dice it into cubes, then fry it up in butter. He said it was the best part, because when the fat renders, it gives the meat a savory taste. He forced me to eat it, and I had to admit, he was right. My life is a living hell that only gets worse as my demon drags me on. Every cell of my body screams in burning agony as he violates me day by day. The weight in my soul is so heavy that I fear it may drag me down to the lake of fire any day. I've tried so hard to kill myself. I've tried to jump in front of traffic, but my demon holds me back. I slashed my wrists in the bathtub, but the demon dialed 911. I just wished that somebody would kill me. I wanted to send this message so that somebody could find me and end my misery. 
But every time I try to say my name, the demon breaks a finger. So instead of a plea for help, I'll just make this an apology. I'm so sorry for all the awful things the demon has made me do. I know that soon I will be dead, and I welcome it with open arms now. Goodbye.